Okay, Kipsters, this is just a quick visual diagram to help you remember how to classify quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are four-sided shapes that are closed. They are polygons. There are two ways of categorizing quadrilaterals. Uh, one, if you have parallel, two pairs of parallel sides, then it will fall into the parallelogram category. And by there you can see if it can be broken down into any um, more, more proper names for the shapes. If it only has one pair of parallel sides, then it will be a trapezoid. Okay? And if it has no pairs of parallel sides, then it'll just be a quadrilateral. Okay? So parallelogram, the way of thinking it is you have two L's right here. So you have two pairs of parallel lines. Okay? If it just has two pairs of parallel lines, then it's a parallelogram. If it has two pairs of parallel sides and all sides are the same length, then it is called a rhombus. Okay? If it has two pairs of parallel sides and it has four, and this is how you think of rect angle. How many letters do you see in rect? R, E, C, T, one, two, three, four. It has four. What letter does rect begin with? R, four, right, angles. Okay? And if it has two pairs of parallel sides, all sides are the same length, and all four right angles are present, then you have yourself a square. And the formula for any of these shapes right here is area equals length times width. The formula for a trapezoid, which only has one pair of parallel sides, this is an example of it right here, is area equals base 1 plus base 2. Now that sum is then divided by 2. Then you multiply that answer by your height. Okay? So it's area equals parentheses base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 multiplied by the height. Okay? So this shape right here, see it has one pair of parallel sides and two pairs of parallel sides. They will never touch. So we can call this a parallelogram. Are all sides the same length? Well, this, this side is 7 and this side is 6. So they're not the same length. Okay? So I can't call it a rhombus. I do have two pairs of parallel sides. Let's see if I can call it a rectangle. I have a right angle there, a right angle there, a right angle there, and a right angle there. So I do have a four right angles, so I can call this a rectangle. But I cannot call it a square because all sides are not the same length. So, the formula for a rectangle is area equals length times width. Let's actually um, assign values to each of the objects in the formula. Area is going to go on the inside. My L is going to go horizontal. That is going to be 7 feet. My W is going to be the side that goes up, and that's going to be width, okay, on a two-dimensional shape. So the formula, let's plug it back in. Substitute. I haven't been told what area equals, so area equals 7, that's the length, times the width, which is 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Area equals 42. And let me add my units in. Square feet. So the formula is area equals length times width, and the area is 42 square feet. Okay? Now on a trapezoid, this is a trapezoid because it only has one pair of parallel sides. That's these right here. The formula is area equals base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 multiplied by the height. Let's assign values now. Area is the inside. Base 1 is on the top. And this is actually going to be, sorry for not putting it in there. It's going to be 4 feet. Base 1 is 4 feet. Base 2 is 6 feet. The height is 4 feet. Okay? So here, you're now going to plug in values for what the variables are equal to. So area equals base 1 is 4, in parentheses 4, plus base 2 is 6, 6 divided by 2, okay? Multiplied by the height, which is 4. 
All right, let's now start to solve. 4 plus 6 is 10, divided by 2 is 5. And let's copy the multiplied by 4. Now 5 times 4 is 20. And the area is 20. Now put the units in for area is always square units, so square feet. Okay? The other way of writing it is area equals 20 square feet.